Wedding today with the GTX 1050. This is a 2016 video card from HP. This is an OM video card with 640 shaders. It's got 2 gig of VRAM GDDR5 running with 1356 megahertz on the core clock, 1752 megahertz on the memory clock, 128 bits bus width. And today we're going to pair it up with this i7 6950X with 10 cores and 20 threads. Today I want to show you two GTX 1050 that doesn't support SLI, how it's running running with uh, lossless scaling because uh, I want to test more that software and the best thing I can do is just uh, jump in a couple of games and see how they are behaving. Uh, one game, uh, one video card is going to run the game and the other one is going to run the software. It's going to be a very interesting test seriously because I don't have enough experience with the software but from now on I think it's gonna be better and better. The more I play the better understanding I will have with this uh, software. Let's jump in. All right, let's uh, jump into Battlefield and see what we can do because I had some nice settings uh, last time. Uh, I had Ultra and I had on 95, around 95 FPS on average. You can actually see it's holding pretty well. Now, in order to do this, I have to dis take this full screen off. I think uh, I can do borderless. Yes, let's see. I don't know too many things about this, but uh, I'm going to start with the first one and I'm going to ramp it up and see how it's running from 90 FPS, maybe it goes up. So I got FSR, LS1, I have zero clue here, seriously, so I'm going to put this one, mode full screen, I don't know. This is the only thing I managed to see is that it's to disable this one in order to get uh, maximum FPS. So it's got the first GPU and the second one. I managed to do it full screen. Oh yes, please. So it's got 60, 120. Wow. Is it 120 it like dot? It doesn't go higher. I think it's locking it to VSync or something. Maybe LS 3.1 is gonna work better. No, what do you think? Scale. So I got 60 FPS with this with uh what's this ls lsfg 3.1 maybe fsr is gonna work better i don't know let's try this one makes no sense how much i have 30 60 fps bro i got 60 fps why is the v-sync on seriously feels very stuttery bro it's better with one video card than this mode fix adaptive target let's put 200 holy loaded the second video card 155 got some latency here seriously like little delay maybe this is the right settings i got the both of the gpu now maxed out <laughs> on the load got 150 fps oh, i managed to kill somebody bro you put the wrong settings in lossless scaling you have a big delay <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate this idea this software is offering here so on ultra details i got a standing chance here i got 150 fps 156 all right same settings because this is the best one that i managed to find but now 1080p with low details i want to see what happens here with this it doesn't go to 200 fps i was expecting 200 i was expecting 200 fps how about Nine 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 or something. I keep pressing button there and I don't. Two three hundred three hundred and fifty FPS. Holy! Shit. I can see the the image not. Holy! Oh, artifacting, bro. The, the artifacting in the game it's unreal. I got three hundred and fifty FPS. So with low quality, I got three hundred FPS. <laughs> it looks like. Maybe I should take performance mode off. Maybe I should not put performance here and put like say let's say. 500 or something dude you look like doggo 160 is it only because i click performance on the button or 163 it's that like the limit or 62 let me put 99999 again maybe it's working like that yes oh. Oh, no. Okay, so I need 200 with performance. Bro, I just want 200 FPS. It's about the how much you want. If you want 200, I think it's, this is good. It's achievable, 200 FPS. And I want performance on this case. See, now it's not, no tearing. The, oh, I think the more you put, the more is gonna destroy the resolution there. So if it stops under 350 or how much is the maximum, it can actually do the job. Dude, it feels good. It feels okay in this situation. Is there like a limit or something? 400. 
329 26 29 all right so here this is the best without breaking the whole thing on 99 percent 327 so with lossless uh, scaling on low quality with two gtx 1050 on fsr ls 3.1 or something and uh, performance i got maximum 327 29 very good performance seriously really love the performance it adds here and uh, yeah let's move on i actually thought i will come into this game and use uh, lossless scaling in order to get more fps but i didn't put in account that fortnite even though it's got no sli support it's utilizing two video cards i mean not really two video cards is using the second one as the main and the first one as a physics i think and it's giving me more fps i got 144 on performance mode with uh, this and it was not bad i really appreciate this idea and i think uh, in some situation it will be beneficial to have two gtx 1050 in fortnite but fortnite is the only one that managed to put like this to use the first video cause as a as a physics i'm actually curious now if i i give this performance mode with fsr which uh, i have to select the first one that's the one that is not used and i wanted to see if it's doing something Let's see 200 300 fps it's actually working at 300 fps 289 if it's very sluggish but it does uh, give me the fps 285 not gonna lie how much 300 watts consumption from two gtx 1050 i mean not very ideal situation you can actually see the little artifacting so this is the performance settings that i had in battlefield and it was doing okay-ish theoretically i can feel that delay i got under 10 ms so it's gonna hold okay-ish i put 300 how about 400 if i give 400 if i put 400 fps does it go to 400 i'm gonna see now in the game it's working there is no discussion on this but it feels much better with me with 140 fps there the only thing i wanted to show you is how it's performing like this here i got more delay with uh, this uh, amount of fps compared to the 140 that it was uh, unscaled i will take that without blinking because it was very snappier than this but it does show me 291 fps and that is very important that's the one that i'm going with you know 288 it's a lot of fps from two gtx like this wait look at that when two people are fighting the third one it's always winning <laughs> in counter-strike is gonna average around 126 fps that's what i had uh, on average and it's quite a good number for one video card like this so managed to see now the first one it's uh, the one that is carrying all the load and the second one it's not you know it shouldn't be because the second one what I mean, the airflow is not good so uh, fortnite was one of those games that managed to utilize the second one but i don't know why and it was using the first one as graphics no problem zero percent load on the second one I'm gonna use this uh, for uh, lossless uh, scaling in order to see if it's doing something. Definitely, definitely in the right direction. So I got 140 FPS with this, but um, I don't understand. Yeah, I have to play more in order. Maybe the map is different. Maybe around 130. I managed to see on average there in Counter Strike, and it did well. Seriously, it did well in the, in a real case scenario. You know, with uh, 1080p lowest quality, so it did fantastic. So same settings. I think we can put 300 here because uh, it's gonna butcher it 300 fsr apparently this one is it's good and i have to make it as a profile maybe we can change it i don't know maybe it's gonna do great seriously i don't know does 300 what the you can achieve 300 fps with this apparently apparently 400 fps is not that far 345 fps that's the maximum well if it's got 150 fps 140 or something like that it's nearly doubling the fps in this case both of the gpus that are working i got 98 percent load on the second one that is pushing this amount of frames so i got uh, only 200 megabytes of vram allocated and uh, 1.8 nearly 1.9 on the first one very interesting setup but on fortnite i have managed to have 300 watts 
So with uh, scaling, it's good. I understand that I have to test more because there's a lot of settings there. And this type of uh, combination, it's kind of interesting, you know. So maybe other games, we can actually do other games with this. But uh, I remember playing this type of games yeah, with only one video card. And now I wanted to compare them in, in between, you know. So it's kind of cool to see them like this. The system doesn't have any problems there. Only the GPUs, but it's pushing around for 340. 41. I will put 340 FPS, seriously. In World of Tanks, it's going to be very interesting to see how it's performing. Because I remember on uh, 1080p with ultra details, uh, barely managed to put uh, any FPS. So maybe this is the case that the software is going to help me. Doesn't have a dual. I think that if you move around, you're gonna have that 45 FPS because the sniping, the zooming, everything is gonna be very hard on the performance side. Yes. So I'm gonna select the same thing like I do every single time. I'm gonna put it on the second video card. Got no load on it. I'm gonna refresh this. Wow. Okay. So I got now with artifacting. 250 fps we don't want 400 we want 100 because for one 400 is creating that blurriness that those artifactings are not cool 100 fps it's achievable i want 100 fps with this it is possible to achieve that all right let's go with f multiplier i want to see this this is it with fixed apparently it's much better oh my god 85 fps 92 fps yes it's just doubling it this is the perform okay see this is the this is the thing you know because i, d I don't know how to use the software it's kind of cool to see world of tanks with 60 70 fps <laughs> I had myself there in the wrong position with this uh, software, apparently. I have to go with fix and multiply it on uh, two. Very interesting like that, the performance. So from now on, I need to be with fix on uh, two times, you know. <laughs> two times this is gonna be very difficult because uh, you know i got only a little more room until the game breaks i got 130 fps already with normal quality on 1080p and if you go like this 180 fps you're gonna get uh, stutter everywhere i'm actually curious what happens if you if you force it beyond 180 fps because the scaling is gonna double it you know it's gonna lower it and i'm gonna force it maybe 100 fps FPS, 90 FPS, and I'm gonna put 300 FPS. Imagine having 300 FPS in GTA 5. It managed to drop 100. So now it's 120 with 60. So we double it from here, 120 FPS. This is with fix with X2 or something like that. And I think I'm gonna put it to adaptive to see how much it's gonna. But I think idea will be to have it like this because now I got 40% load and it's gonna keep me with 120 FPS on constant. So fixed, it's ideal because it creates zero bucks in the situation. It feels very snappy, seriously. This is a perfect example in which you can use uh, scaling lossless scaling with this apparently i think this is the prime example it shows me 115 fps or 110 the software took it to 60 and then, then it doubled it now it's got 120 constant compared to the one that i have 110 20 i think it's very interesting all right let's stop this i'm actually curious what's adaptive doing here let's put 400 i'm actually curious 223 fps 230 Oh damn, I can see a little artifacting. So with lossless scaling on adaptive, it's gonna pump a lot of FPS, but the scaling, it's kind of horrible. I think the, the one with the fixed one and doubling and tripling, it's much better. Okay, so adaptive is doing the job, but it's brutalizing everything. I'm gonna go in fix and I'm gonna put uh, three. Let's try it with three. Fifty percent, sixty percent load, and I got one hundred and eighty. So with uh, fixed, apparently it's uh, ten times better than this. It gives you the FPS, but uh, that's the only one I wanted to see. You know, for uh, adaptive, so I can see how many I can get. This is the solution with uh, three times multiplier fixed and uh, L three point one with FSR. I had one hundred FPS. Where is that one hundred? Ah, here it is. One hundred FPS. Maybe I was looking totally different. One 100 fps maybe the map is not giving me 100 fps should definitely change that to average that i had on the previous video card okay on 1080p in this game with low quality i don't have 100 fps i like 79 78 fps quality is good performance is good looks good look at that 80 fps 
with fire and flames c1 on low quality it's okay so 79 80 fps temperature is good 72 i think there is a standing chance so we can use this uh, on this i want to start with adaptive and then we're gonna go with a fixed one i want to see the maximum fps i get from this 332 fps wow i'll take 313 doesn't feel like 300 fps i got slower movement on the mouse look at that the icon there's a little delay you know that's how it goes <laughs> dude it's, it's doing a fantastic job like this with adaptive it's reaching a higher number but in order to get it properly i think i have to do um, with fixed one i have to put it to fix in order to make it better and i have to start with double that will be 120 fps so 70 80 fps i think this is the way with two on the multiplier 111 110 20. look at that it's holding 120 fps latency wise this is good no artifacting i think this is the way it's dropping below 120 to 102 see i think this is uh, this is the real performance it does work with this it's very important to know the settings which you want so fixed is doing great which is two times on it but uh, adaptive shows you that you can reach 300 but then you're gonna have load of problems seriously like this you got only 40 percent load on the gpu side with 266 watts consumption you know so it's not fully utilizing the video card uh, at maximum i think you can go three times but then uh, you'll have a lot of uh, you know, problems if it's reaching maximum load and artifacting and delay is gonna come not ideal in some situation but it's got room very very interesting performance in fortnite because i already had 170 fps but if i was using this with uh, the software managed to put on adaptive nearly 300 fps so overall performance is worth it you know but uh, i think with fix uh, option because only halfway through the test i mean i realized that i wanted to see the fixed resource too because apparently that will be something that I, I will choose you know but at the same time adaptive managed to give me some really nice power over the whole thing you know <laughs> to see in star wars a battle for like 300 fps but it was the latency was so crap you know so it's not worth it but if you have from 80 to 120 or something like that and the latency is not visible it's worth it so it's kind of interesting and i want to do more like this so it's kind of cool to have a 1050 because 1050 nowadays is kind of easy to get it with 10 20 dollars 20 pounds 10 20 pounds you know so it, it, it's cool to see something like this being utilized properly you know to give you just a little more boost over it, it i will do more i will do more until uh, until then i have to put more video cards and more games in order to have a standing chance on creating a, a list of fps with some games then try to combine it with the software and another video card and see if we can get uh, more fps interesting idea interesting video card interesting uh, benchmark so definitely definitely love some uh, more ideas and if you have more ideas about something similar leave a comment smash that like button and as usual I will see you very soon.